the world's a playground. You know that as a kid, but you seem to forget it somewhere along the way. Yes, man, the movie. Did you know that some people fear public speaking more than death? Did you also realize that talking about that all the time doesn't help anyone? Public speaking is supposed to be fun, energetic, a way to make a difference, a way to share an idea, a way to use this world in which we all live in, like a playground to share our thoughts or ideas and to be a bit more creative. Which is exactly why in this week's episode of Master Talk, we're covering the three ways and how we can make presentations a bit more fun. Hey everyone, Brenda from Master Talk here on your YouTube channel, I guess, on how to master your talk. And today we're covering three easy ways to make this boring skill a bit more fun and entertaining. So let's get into it. Number one, play PowerPoint karaoke. Yep, it's a thing. I used to do it all the time and I still do it today. So how does the game work? The game is simple. You create the presentation for somebody else and they have to present it not knowing what the contents of the slides are. This is a great way for you to practice impromptu speeches because you don't know what slides you're going to get as a presenter. So let's just say the results are a tad bizarre. I once gave a presentation where I had to outline my dating life and how it worked through graphs and statistics to everyone around me. It was like a group of 30 people and they were all hysterical. And the same way I make presentations about how to bake enchiladas to somebody who doesn't cook. So they go, yeah, so I guess the first thing you do is you put something in there or the history of Machu Picchu. You just present a bunch of random topics and you make them in slides and you make somebody else present them. And the magic of PowerPoint karaoke is it really gets you out of your, your comfort zone because you don't know what slides you're going to get. You don't know what the topic is and you need to present with the same amount of rigor and the same amount of enthusiasm as if you created the content yourself. So when I looked at the slide, and I noticed that uh, it wasn't something super appropriate. I had to pretend as if it was, as if it was my own research. Studies found that 82% of men do this and this is how they go about their day. And I had to keep presenting that way as if I was a professional researcher. You cannot break out of character. And that is the goal of PowerPoint karaoke. So that way you can stop thinking about your presentations as this boring mundane exercise but as an opportunity to make your world a playground. Number two, presentation night out. Some guys my age watch sports and eat chicken wings. Other guys my age play sports and eat chicken wings. I, you know, eat a lot of junk food, but don't watch sports or care about sports. But instead, as you'll probably realize from such an exquisite intellectual that I am, I spend my nights watching other people present. And I'm sure at this point you're wondering, well, where's the fun in that? So let me explain. When I was in university and where I learned how to speak like this for you on camera today, I used to spend endless nights ordering junk food with all of my best friends. And we would spend that time criticizing other people's presentations because we would compete against them in a couple of months. We needed to understand how they spoke and what they did right, what they did wrong. And I believe that the presentation night out drill can be applied to anything. Because let's face it, everyone, the last thing you want to do with public speaking is be alone in your basement for an hour working on presentations when it's dark and there's nobody else helping you. That doesn't sound very entertaining and exhilarating to me. Instead, what I do is I make a keynote, I present it to my friends while they make fun of me and eat French fries, and then they give me areas of improvement when I could do better. So it's fun because I get to hang out with my pals and my presentation also gets better. Huge win-win for everybody. So figure out how you can make your public speaking presentations the best night ever. Number three, the thought experiment. Out of all of the fun ways to learn communication, this is probably the easiest one to execute. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, it's at Master Your Talk, you'll notice that I post a video on my stories every single day. Why do I do that? And how do I come up with that content? 
It's actually really simple. When I'm working away on my basement, I have a thought and I go, oh, that's interesting. So I literally go into the room next door. I open my phone. I go, hey guys, it's Brandon. This is a thought. Hope you're having a great day. And I turn it off. The reason why the thought experiment is a great exercise is because it doesn't need to be polished like a video. It's just a thought that you have. And over time, when you keep doing the thought experiment, just, you know, something that you did during the day, something you'd like to do, a hobby or some sort of idea that you had. Once you share it in a public way with people every day, you're held accountable to keep sharing an idea that matters. And over time, what this does is that it makes you feel more comfortable presentations. You see it as something more fun since the topic is really just whatever you want it to be. And over time, you'll have presented hundreds of times on camera like I have over the last year. And you'll have the confidence to present the topic that you care the most about in a way that people want to hear it. I don't watch a lot of movies, but Yes Man made a mark on me because it's so true that the world's a playground and most of us seem to forget it. So even if you're not an influencer, even if you're not somebody who wants to build a huge YouTube channel, my advice is to make communication fun anyways. Because if you can figure out how to share your ideas, in a way that works for you, in a way that's fun, in a way that's exhilarating, you'll stop comparing public speaking to death and start comparing it to something cool like donuts or fried chicken or something vegetarian, I don't know, whatever you like. As always, if you enjoyed this week's episode of Master Talk, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well to see more videos like this. And if you know someone, and I know you do, that's scared of public speaking, that doesn't want to master their talk, send them this video so that they can be one step closer to seeing this whole world that we live in as a playground too. See you next time, everyone, on Master Talk. Mm -hmm.